Dear friends, at the Last Supper, Jesus was preparing his disciples for his impending passion. He used this opportunity to teach, comfort, warn, and inspire them. He comforted them saying, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. He also warned and promised at them, I will go and prepare a place for you. I will come back again and take you to myself so that where I am, you also may be. Then he assured and inspired them by saying, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. Suddenly, Philip said to Jesus, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. So Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and do you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. It seems that we do not have the privilege of seeing God through the human and physical face of Jesus here and now. So we may wonder, how can we see the Father? We may also want to say, Lord, show us the Father. We may be even tempted to grow discouraged and believe that it is not possible to see God face to face in this earthly journey. Then, deep within us, we hear Jesus' voice reminding us, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. I believe that I have seen God and come to know Him because I have seen the living face of Jesus since I was born. I have seen the human face of Jesus through the face of my mother. Her words and deeds showed me many times and in many ways the living face of God. Her enduring faith, self-sacrificing love, active hope, generosity, care and devotion revealed to me the face of Jesus. Her joy and a smiling face during the most difficult times manifested the joyful and smiling face of God to me. I believe that I have seen God because throughout the journey of life, I have seen the face of Jesus through the faces of many mothers, my grandmothers, my aunts, my sister, my relatives, my friends, my parishioners. Their motherly love, their gentle care, and their unconditional support to their children and families have revealed to me God's never-failing love, care, and support. Their ability to deny themselves and give everything to provide for the well-being of their loved ones had manifested to me the living face of Jesus. Their words and actions of instruction, encouragement, comfort, and hope have shown me the active presence of God in our lives. Indeed, I have come to know God because I have seen the human face of Jesus through the faces of many women who lovingly, selflessly, 
and bravely have embraced and exercised their call to motherhood. I had come to know God because through their lives, words, and actions, they have shown me the living presence of God among us. I have come to know God because I have seen the face of Jesus in the faces of many mothers in our midst. This Sunday, when we celebrate the call, the vocation to motherhood, I lift prayers of thanksgiving up to God for the gift of our mothers, grandmothers, and all the women who have showed us motherly love and care. I thank God because through them we have come to know, we have come to see the face of Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life, who always teaches comforts and inspires us, especially during the most difficult times in the journey of life. I also pray to God that all mothers and women may be blessed with the gifts of grace, faith, hope, love, joy, peace, courage, generosity, and all those gifts that they may need to continue showing us the face of Jesus so that we may come to know God and believe in Him here and everywhere, now and forever. This Sunday, let us not only pray, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. But let us also say, Mother, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Mothers, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day.